producto de una, de una separación de sus padres, ahí encontró él el refugio a la situación. Sí, siempre, siempre algo así detona, detona que uno se acerque a la música. Wow, sí, te felicito. Ya me convenciste que puedes tocar extreme. <risa> Yo no creo ya. que no vea un concierto. Yeah, see to believe it. <risa> Acaba de tocar More Than Words de hey. Extreme. Wow. Again, Fernando. That's the end of win. <risa> Ahí queremos inventar, pero cuesta todavía. Ok, good, my friend. Congratulations. Gracias. Excellent. <laughs> ah, Jimmy. That's the best thing, right? To play a musical instrument. It's a new way to, to say welcome to the class. Uh -huh, exactly. With music. Yeah. Next. We will, it will be uh -huh, demonstrate at the beginning of the class what you know, what ability. Yeah, it's possible. And I will say, well, what can I do? Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't play a musical instrument. I'm going to say a big box. Ay, Dios, Dios. <laughs> That's difficult. No. Oh, yes, it's difficult. Play guitar? It's difficult, oh, yeah. but beatbox, you can... I don't think so. A ver. <laughs> A ver, dice. No, <laughs> <laughs> pues, no in, yeah, English, in English, in <laughs> English teacher. <laughs> Así se dice, es easy. Okay, Brenda. Okay, good. Buen provecho. <laughs> okay, well. Eh, Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. You deserve it. Wow, very soon. Very yeah. soon. Christmas dinner. Beginning December. No, finishing November, right? Today. Yeah. yeah. Tell me, is it raining in your house? Not now, but it seems to be rained. It will, right? Yeah. At least my computer says, my computer says that it's going to rain soon. Probably. Yeah. Times. Rain, yeah. Uh, let me see, in my PC. Uh-huh. Rain off and. 87% uh, of humidity. Yeah. And that it is a rainy night. So it will be nice because we will sleep very well, right? Relaxing when it is cold. <coughs> okay, well, let's go to the attendance before we forget. Today we are finishing November. Yeah. Last day of November, November is done. And tomorrow, starting Christmas. Did you put on your Christmas tree already? Ready with the Christmas tree? Oh, Christmas tree, you Christmas Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. Nice, nice. We were trying to put the Christmas tree since, <laughs> since, beginning of november but we could do it until last mm -hmm. weekend i guess that we came and finally we said okay let's put it it's time oh rosa hilda is very happy because really? argentina <laughs> won of course yes <laughs> oh. hey, yeah, i see i see rosy very good you didn't hear me shouting the goals <laughs> but what happened with Messi? Well, he tried hard. <laughs> he tried hard. He tried hard. But remember that it's not just that he will make the goal, but he will help do it. Right? Yeah, of course. 
And the thing is that if they try just, I have to do it, they can lose opportunities when somebody else can help in the team. They are a team. Mm -hmm. So the, the good thing are the results, right? Right, Rosie? Rosie, Rosie? We're happy with the results, right? Yes, teacher, all for us. Definitely. And the next game will be Argentina versus who? Um, Brazil. Versus France? Okay. No. No, no, no. Australia. 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 Yeah. Oh, I didn't see that game. How was it? Was it good? Uh, Australia. Uh huh. Uh, no, I don't see. I didn't see it either. They won. Well, I, I know they won. Yes, I they won. In Twitter. But what about the game? Was it good? Yeah, good play. Australia, good competition for Argentina? Mm, not necessary. They lose. What do you think? A ver, uh, approximately 20 okay. years ago, uh -huh. they played uh, uh, a game. Uh -huh. And Argentina won. Argentina, Argentina won. Yeah. So your predictions will be that Argentina will win again. Yeah, of course. Okay. Hopefully, right? And tomorrow, Costa Rica. Costa Rica versus who? Alemania. Germany. <laughs> yeah. Costa Rica versus who? Wow, that would be Germany. Good. What time is that game? Uh, 1 p.m. I think so. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Good time for taking a relax. And mm -hmm. Of course. Nice, nice. We will see it and we will see what happened, right? Yeah. Hey, good. Good, good. Rosie, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see. Adolfo, tell me present. Present, teacher. Adriana Maria. Present teacher. Adriana Sofia. Present teacher. Ana. Ana. Ana, Ana, Ana. Brenda Alexandra. I saw you there. Claudia Valentin. Present teacher. Present teacher. Claudia, good Claudia. Cruz Antonio. Present. Nice. David. David. David, are you still driving? Uh, present teacher. Are you still driving, David? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. That's why you're being quiet. Hmm. Jose Alberto. Present teacher. Nice. Jose Alfredo. Jose Alfredo. Jose Arnoldo. Hola. <ríe> Oy, hola. Adolfo. Jose en hola. Yes, sorry. Now. <ríe> okay. <ríe> ok. Ok, ok, hola. Like, con eco. Jose Alfredo no here. Jose Arnoldo. No. Carla Lorena. Carlita. Carlita no here. Eh, Kevin. Bueno, Kevin ya no. Mauricio. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Nice, Nubia. Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Present. Right. Saul Edgardo. Saul. Shulma Janet. Present teacher. Okay. Victor Manuel. Present teacher. teacher. Fernando. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Fernando. Present teacher. Nice. And Rosie. Present teacher. Okay, anybody else entered after I call you? No? Nobody, nobody, nobody. 
Hmm. Okay. We missing seven. Seven people. Wow. Today, uh, we are going to be talking about adverbs of manner, right? Those are the adverbs that are that we use to modify verbs, adverbs of manner. And I'm going to share the presentation. Okay. And check the, we're going to explain the relevance of an effective inventory management. And in the objective for today, we have participants will be able to design a basic plan to organize an inventory management system. So we're going to be discussing this topic and also we're going to be working with the adverse, adverse of manner, right? Adverse of manner that are the ones that we use, especially uh, for modifying verbs. We're going to talk in general about adverbs because adverbs can modify not only verbs, they modify adjectives, they modify adverbs, but of course it depends on the type of adverb of manner we're talking about, right? So we're going to see some of them and then we're going to concentrate more in the adverbs of manner. Okay. We have a couple of questions here to start. How do I calculate the right amount of inventory to stock? Remember, we have been talking about problems that the companies may have if they have too much of stock or if the inventory is too big or what happens if the inventory is too small and you cannot cover a demand, right? So here, you're going to discuss with your partners how you calculate the right amount of inventory to stock. And then how do I determine the right price for my inventory? If somebody says, well, I want to buy all your inventory. And you say like, mm, okay, uh -huh. how much is it? How would you de determine the price for that inventory? I'm going to give you a couple of minutes, no, no much time for you to go discuss these questions. We are on your manual on page 35 today, page 35. So you go discuss the questions to, with your partners and we come back soon. Let's see. We're going to make groups of four. There we go. Check if you can join. Jose Arnoldo, hello. Jose Arnoldo. Claudita, try to join. Nice. Me sacó el inter, es que estoy en el teléfono. Vaya, me dice si le aparece no. la llamada, si no la uno a otro grupo. Ok. No me aparece nada, un techo. Vaya, la voy a mover entonces. Cheque si le aparece.
Nice. Are you, in, hi, hi, are, you, are you in the manual? We are the drink team, you know that? What? We are the drink team, you know that? I don't understand, my friend. I said that we are the dream team. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, of course. Now, what is the direction of, for to this exercise or for to this? Discuss the question. Discuss? The question. Okay. What are some George bad practice in inventory management? What are Susan's recommendations to solve some of the issue? What is another suggest suggestion you could give Jorge to get his inventory organized? Right? Mm -hmm. But I, I you say the, the, the part one. Yeah. How, it, how, it how do I calculate the right amount of inventory to a stock? And how do I determine the right price for my inventory? Hmm. A little difficult, the second one. Okay, the, but the first... we have to read part two, right? Yes. Okay, if you want, we can read at the same time or we can practice whatever you, you want. No, discuss the questions. Or only discuss? Yeah. Okay. How do I calculate the right amount it of inventory to the stock? Giving the answer, right? Hmm? Giving the answer to the question. Okay. How do I calculate the right amount of inventory stock? Uh, you hi, hello, Nubia. Are you alone? Hi, teacher. Hi. Um, and the second question. There is about how do I determine the right price for my inventor? I think that depend uh, 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 the the translate the product the another place. Um, and if you pay uh, tax. Yes. If the EN, if the company has a uh, almacenaje propio, its own warehouse. Warehouse. Mm -hmm. I for, I forget the word. Uh, if they have warehouse, uh, depend to uh, on the price in the market ah, in this moment. Yes. That's true. Mm -hmm. um, And I think the the products you add the the cost you paid for the warehouse yes. are included in the in the price. Yes, taxes and if they have transportation cost. Yes. Uh, 
transportation, tax, warehouse. Yes. Um, y the price in the market, too. Yes, too. I suppose that are important to determine the price. Yes. Mm -hmm. Teacher, yeah. the second question. Mm -hmm. uh, how do I determine the right price for my inventory? Is for all inventory or price only product? No, for the inventory. Imagine you say, well, I have in my inventory, I have 200 Christmas trees. So how much are those 200 Christmas trees? If somebody came and told me, Rosie, sell me your inventory. Mm. How much will that be? So if you have, if you know exactly what is your inventory, you can put a price, yeah. right? But if you do not know, that would be like kind of difficult. You can put a price, but uh, to the to the public, no. No, just uh, sometimes one company wants to buy a big, a big quantity of something to another company just because they are probably starting a new business or because they are expanding. And then they say, well, it's cheaper for me if I go to a company and I buy all the inventory they have. Mm -hmm. What about if later on, I don't have the product and they have sold the product to somebody else. Mm -hmm. so I better buy all the inventory and they don't continue selling the product because I will have it all, right? Mm -hmm. So in that, price, in that case, how can you give a price to that inventory? It's complicated. Yes. Put it in, in words, mortal people, right? Because we're not accountants <laughs> and we are not uh, business people either. So in in the words of mortal people, what would you do? <laughs> well, uh, if I store, if I say the, 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 ¿cómo se dice facturas? The invoice. Invoice. Mm -hmm. uh, if I store that, I make a, a calculate of all that I spend in my product, in, my, in the purchase. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You can calculate the costs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then? And then... Is multiply it, it right for the number of product uh -huh. Uh -huh. yes that's... the problem the problem is when it's a different kind of product mm -hmm. exactly then you will have to make that calculation with every type of product uh -huh. but imagine if i tell you sell me the inventory of christmas tree that you have only Christmas tree. I'm not interested in all the rest of things that you have, just the Christmas tree. Because I'm going to go to another department to put a store. Nobody sells Christmas trees in that, in that city. So I will be the first, but I need enough. Then I will buy all your inventory, but just Christmas tree. I have all the rest of things that I want to sell, but I don't have Christmas trees. So I will buy all your inventory only of Christmas trees. And that's, that's it. They, uh -huh, they are facilitating your life, right? Because it's only one product and just and you need to make calculations only with one product. Mm -hmm. I just check how much I, I pay yeah. for it. Uh -huh, exactly. And then multiply how much you have invested and the profit you want to get. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Teacher, in, the, in this case, can be keeping control of costs and inventory in the system. 
Yes, definitely. Definitely. If you are very organized, you know exactly the cost of everything <clears throat> you have and the quantity, ooh, that would be a piece of cake, right? You will be able to give a price quickly. Okay. Because the person in charge of that uh, of that warehouse should know the, the, the quantity of products. It's like if you ask a teacher how many students you have, we know how many how many students we have, right? So it's, it's the same. So they should know, or if they don't have it, <clears throat> they should have it on hand to know exactly, but quickly, how much inventory they have and what is the cost for every item they have in the inventory to make calculations quickly and they can say, oh, listen, the price is this, right? But that is just, as you say, keeping a record of everything in the, in, in the system, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello, hello. Finish, David. Adrianas. Señoritas Adrianas. Forty eight seconds. Okay. Twenty eight seconds. Almost everybody back. Okay. Missing, missing the people. Okay, nice, everybody here. Let's see first question. Who wants to answer that question? How do I calculate the right amount of inventory to stock? How? Because remember, we have been talking about um, keeping too many things in the inventory or having such a normal stock that I'm not going to sell and probably mm, the fashion can change, <laughs> right? Or the other thing, not having enough inventory and then losing the opportunity to sell. So how, how, that's why the question, how do I calculate the right amount of inventory to stock? What's your friend? Teacher, yeah. depends on the rotation of the products of the types of products. Okay. Definitely, definitely. Thinking about the seasons, right? Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you, Nuvia. Anybody wants to add something else to that answer? Teacher, in my case, inventory divide by the monthly sales to know the inventory time and how long I want to project the, the inventory. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Exactly. The time is very important, right? How much do I sell in three months? You have you have to know the the record of sales. Uh, you have to know the demand for to calculate the inventory to a stock. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. What is the demand of the product? Is it a product that changes from one season to another one? Is mm -hmm. it a product that is sold all the time of the year? Is it a product that can have the risk of passing and the people will get 
will lose interest in that product. So those things are very important to consider, right? In this, in this case. Now, check the last question. How do I determine the right price for my inventory? When we Oof. say the inventory is the whole amount of things you have in your warehouse, right? When you want to sell. Or oh, just imagine the example I was giving to a group is this. Uh, imagine somebody's interested in putting a new business or expanding a little bit and they need a product that only you have and they want to buy not just a quantity they want to buy all the inventory that you have how would you determine the right price for that inventory Mm -hmm. It's convenient to calculate the uh, space, the cost of the storage, for example. Uh -huh. um, de depreciation. Mm, if the product depreciates, if not. Okay, yeah. No problem, because if mm -hmm. you're not using it, it probably it won't depreciate, right? You are right. Mm -hmm. Taxes, transportation, but we're warehouse. Talking, but check it, we're talking about the inventory that is there, it's kept, it's on the warehouse, I'm not moving it. But somebody comes and tells me, Nubia, I want to buy your inventory of Christmas trees that you have. How would you determine the right price for that inventory? How? Uh, <clears throat> maybe uh, checking how much I invest in it. Mm -hmm. Costs, right? Checking the costs, yes. And remember that when you talk about costs, you, in, you include everything, right? Things. If you made the, the, the product, all the raw material, you, you bought, you invested, the, the labor, right? All the people working to make that product, how much you were paying, all the salaries that you were paying, the electricity, the water. Remember, we have been talking about that in previous courses. All those things that you take into account to give a price. So at the end, what is the cost? And especially is as Nubi assess the transportation, if you're paying for the warehouse, right? So you can include all those things in the cost, not just, ah, um, I, I invested $50 in making the product, but are you taking into account electricity, water, the people working, all the salaries that I had to pay for that pe for those people, and all the expenses that I have had to pass to get that product finished. Mm -hmm. right? So at the end, when I already have the costs, what do I do? If I already know the cost of each item in my inventory, how do I determine the right price for all the inventory? How? When we talk about the right price for the inventory, we are not talking about its product, right? Mm -hmm. It's a global product. All. Oh, oh yeah. I have only 200 Christmas trees. My inventory will be those. One million of dollar. One million dollars. Mm -hmm. Why one million dollars? Uh, because, uh, Possibly I have a uh, different products and each product have to be at uh, the, the, the cost of storage, the tax, the transportation, whatever. Uh -huh. So you will calculate it at random? What would you do to calculate it? For each product. If, if, the, if the product are different, we have to calculate and to add each cost for each product. 
and then uh, have a, a general a general aim on to to fix my my price of the inventory okay remember something that was mentioning somebody is a keeping the right track of the inventory of every single item you have in the system right so automatize the inventory so now the automatization came to stay right so automatize the inventory so if you put that uh, every single product in the in a system you will know what you how many things you have and of each type like that you can quickly make numbers and decide on what is the price that you want uh, for the product right if no you can add or too much or you can ask for too much money or not enough depending on the enormous quantity of products that you may have that you didn't notice because sometimes this is like when you make your resume right that you don't notice how much experience and how many things you have done in life until you start collecting all the information and putting it in a document. So the same happens here. Until you have recorded every single thing that you had, you don't notice how much you have. Mm -hmm. So I, I will say, keep a track, right? Keep a track. Probably the first time you make an inventory, ooh, that would be terrible. And some of you work on that and you know it's not easy, right? But once you keep a system and you go register in that system, every single thing that enters and every single thing that goes out and you use the system of first checking, first, first in, first out, right? And you know exactly what entered, what went out, that will be easier for you. But if we don't know how many things we have, that will be difficult. And we may lose money, right? When selling the inventory. Okay, let's move a little bit here. Let's go to the conversation here. We have Susan. Susan and George are talking about the basics on how to keep an organized inventory. And check it, take us to, to, to what we were discussing before, right? Having an organized inventory. That's very important. Uh, read the conversation and take to practicing. I'm having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about inventory management. Okay. I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper, George. The first step to implement an organized inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet and record notes that are consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now you know. And look here, the labels are falling off the packages. My labeling inventory properly, you ensure that by labeling inventory properly, you ensure that your products get stored accurately in the right spot so that your employees can find them easily when needed. That is part of this, of the organized inventory system. Now, repeat after me. I'm having a bad time with my business, Susan. I I'm having a bad time, time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about inventory management. I, I need some, some advice about inventory, inventory management. management. Okay. I see you, you keep notes on any scrap of paper, George. Okay. 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 I, I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper, paper George. George. 
The first step to implement and organize inventory management system is getting all your products and vendor information in one place. The first step to implement and organize the inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet and record notes that are consistently. I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet and record notes that are consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Sure. sure, I can, I can do, do that. that. I didn't, I didn't really give really much attention to my nose. Now you know. And look here. Now you no, know. No. And look here. And look here. Look here. The labels are falling off the packages. The labels the are falling off the packages. packages. By labeling inventory properly, you ensure that your products get stored accurately. By the label inventory properly, you ensure that your products get stored accurately in the right spots so that you can find them easily when needed. In the right spots so that your employees can find them easily when needed. Okay, let's see, repeat organized inventory system. Organized, organized inventory system. system. Advice. 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 Some advice. Some advice. Checking that the word advice is uncountable. I don't say an advice. You say, oh, some advice or a piece of advice because this is a non countable word. Mm. Non countable. Non countable. Mm -hmm. okay. Inventory management. Inventory, inventory management. management. Implement. 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 Scrap of paper. Scrap, Scrap of, of paper. Vendor. 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 Spreadsheet. 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 Packages. 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 The levels are falling off the packages. The, the, levels levels the levels are, are falling off the, the packages. Labeling inventory. Labeling inventory. Ensure. 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 Stored accurately. Stored store accurately. 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 Spots. Accurately. Spots. Spots. Accurately, Q -Q. accurately, right box, right box, right box, right box, employees, employees, employees. Okay. Nice. Now I'm going to send you to the group. You discuss the well, read the conversation, right? Take turns reading the conversation, and then you answer the questions in the following uh, slide. You have what are some George some of George bad practices in inventory management? What are Susan's recommendations to solve some of the issues? What is another suggestion you could give George to get this inventory organized? So, what do you think is another thing that he could do to have his inventory organized? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to send you in pairs this time. If uh, you see you're lonely, I will move, right? I will be watching that all of you have a partner. I'm going to make them. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. One group of three, and all the others are pairs. Try to join. Teacher, no nos podemos ir. No ha mandado. Now. Go to sleep or go to the group. Go to the group. Yeah, now. <laughs> okay, okay, great.
<laughs> now, now you can go to the groups. Hi, Alfredo. Hello. Alfredo, hello. Hola, teacher. Dice que todavía voy por camino. Ah, va. Ok, eso quería ver para ver si... ¿Solo? Ok. ¿Cómo, teacher? Lo voy a mandar a otro grupo. Vaya. Let me see. No. Ah, es este. Aquí está. Ver, vamos aquí. Ok. Did you see the conversation? I'm on that. Ok. That is the ah that that's the questions, and this is the conversation. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. All right. Uh, I can be Jorge. I'm Susan. All right. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need to some advice about inventory management. Okay. I see you keep note on any crap of paper yours. The first step to implement an organis organis says inventory management system is getting or all all of your product and vendor information in one place i recommend recommend you do this in a is a spreadsheet no sé cómo se pronuncia in a spreadsheet yes in a spreadsheet and record notes there consist consistently 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 sure i can do that i didn't really give much attention to my notes no you know and look here the levels are foreign of the packages by leveling inventory Properly, you ensure that your product yet store a quality, a, a quality, teacher, a quality, no lo puedo pronunciar. Accurately. 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 In the right spot so that your employees can find them easily when Needed. Okay. 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 
Now, Nubia, you can be Jorge, I am Susan, and then Claudia can be Jorge, and you, Nubia, be Susan. <laughs> okay. Ah, okay. Okay. I am Good. having a... Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I'm having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about inventory management. Okay. I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper, Jorge. The first step to implement an, an organized inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you do, you do this an, in a spreadsheet and record notes there consistently. Sure. sure. I, I don't. Oh. Excuse me. Nubia. <laughs> Nubia, perdón, Nubia, no. siga. Okay. Me metí. Sure. <laughs> I can do that. I didn't really give much attention <laughs> to my notes. Now you know. And look. Pues esa sería una mala práctica. Mm -hmm. yeah. Entonces, George. Eh, George keeps notes on any scrap of paper. What are some of George's bad practices in inventory management? He keeps notes. On any scrap of paper. of paper. He doesn't have the information of vendor and product in one place. Okay, what are Susan's recommendations to save some of the issues? What is Susan? To solve. Mm -hmm. To solve. Some of the issues, uh, okay. Organize the information. Organize mm -hmm. Organize the information of product and vendor in one place. Organize. Oh. Sí. No. Organize. Organize. <laughs> okay, ya tengo, ya tengo sueño. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ya no vemos la, la letra. Somos, ¿cómo se llama? Disléxicos ya después de las ocho. Yes. <laughs> Organize all the information. Labeling. 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 Inventory. Inventory. Properly. 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 Okay. The third, what is another suggestion you could give George to get his inventory organized? Organized. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, Maybe he can use a computer to have the <laughs> the records in, in in control because they use a piece of page to take notes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Could be or. Mm. Uh, maybe maybe, uh -huh. Uh -huh. maybe he came uh he, he could be a good uh como sería poner un encargado 
equal get a person in charge get a person in charge mm -hmm. eh, of, of the the stock of the inventory eh, i don't know eh, programar inventarios <laughs> I don't know. Program inventories. And program inventories. Every week. Or every, every or oh, every month. I don't every know. Every month. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So when when you have a system. And in the system can uh, can um, track the the outputs and the inputs. Ah yes. In the in the in the warehouse inbound. The inbound. The inbound in the outbound. In the warehouse uh, is is easy. When you need the information. Just see the 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 system, the program. But in my case, in a, in a in my work in my workshop in my workplace, all the inventories. You. Ah, uh, 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 <laughs> como 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 decimos en el, en el Salvador todo es a pie. Mm. Uh -huh. Do, don't have systems no the, in the computer no and I, I have uh, three years um pidiendo el sistema <laughs> you have asked hmm? you have asked for it uh -huh. yes and you don't have auditor uh in in when you make the inventory no mm. no and the 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 product in 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 the warehouse is um enter it's correct teacher enters hmm? enters uh -huh. enters uh, two times in a week. Twice a week. Twice a week, yes, twice a week. And the rotation is about how, how many times? Yeah, uh, it's uh, every day. Ah, uh, you day. don't have so much time in, in the, uh, in, in the, Warehouse. Well, the product in the warehouse, no, yeah. no, is is every day two two trucks deliver the product. Oh, uh -huh. and that's well, in in, in it is is por eso. That's why. <laughs> that's why. Uh, uh, that we need a, a system. Definitely. And what happened is automatic, have... automatically, seria. automatization. Automatic. Ah, yes. yes. And what happens if you have a product that doesn't have any um, move, movement? Um, it's uh, that that is not the case because because uh, we uh, well the the company only make a purchase. Uh, for Guatemala, from Guatemala, mm -hmm. uh, but the product uh, with with more movement. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, but imagine. Um, we have a, a product. It's an spray. Uh, the the 
truck came came from Mexico uh -huh. twice in a year with fifteen thousand units in in in, in each truck. And you have to register all that? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Uh, that is so much job. Yeah, of course. We will never finish. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and we are the... We, we, we send the order. Um, For example, in, in, in January, the truck came in um, April. Three months later and uh, almost always the um the order the order is complete and that is more easy para <laughs> for for us with the code almost always <laughs> almost always yeah. almost always yeah. oh my god sometimes is two bucks less okay if you say almost always that means that most of the time it is not uh -huh. and we have the other product yes no sé cómo se dice lija la lija uh, is abrasive uh-huh I don't have idea. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, it's from Mexico, Fandeli, Mexico. We uh, send the, the 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 orders. Sandpaper. 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 Aha, sandpaper. Sandpaper. Nice. Yeah. Interesting. Is in Every every oh every box box boxes every box huh? every box yeah. every box have uh five hundred five hundred uh, sandpapers <laughs> <gasps> units and we but uh, you don't you don't count all the no no no. Okay. <laughs> it's in package. It's in package of 50, uh, 50, 50, uh, 50. Uh -huh. okay. Every package ha have fifty sandpapers, and the box five hundred, mm -hmm. and the truck um five hundred and thousand units. Wow. Oh, you don't you don't count uh. At, only the at, box. The, at the moment that you receive it um only the box ah okay yeah. and after if you have uh the problem is when you uh, start or oh, when you begin the the sales ah. with the hard uh, hardware stores because the hardware stores uh, uh they say me um i want Hi, hi, coming, coming. Hi, teacher. Hey, let's go for the attendance before we continue here. Yes, let's see everybody coming. Tanto te falta para terminar la tarea. Tienen por aquí. 
la pureza del amor de día y noche. Y ahora son... Es hora de dormir. Ok. Let's... It's time to sleep. <laughs> time to sleep for all the babies. I'm baby. <laughs> And you're not. <laughs> you are not. Ok, let's see. Ready. Sí, ¿verdad? Yes. yes. Vaya. Vamos a ver. Tell me present. Adolfo. Present, teacher. Adriana María. Present, teacher. Diana Sofía. Present, teacher. Ana. Present, teacher. Brenda. Present, teacher. Guadalupe. Present, teacher. José Antonio. Present, teacher. David. Present, teacher. José Alberto. Present, teacher. José Alfredo. Present, teacher. José Arnoldo. Carla Lorena. No está Carlita. Mauricio. Present teacher. Pedro Luis. Present, Present teacher. No, ya. Present teacher. Sí. Raúl. Sul Mayanet. Present. Victor. Present. Fernando. Present teacher. Rosy. Present teacher. Ok, very good. Bueno. Eh, today, as I told you, we are going to talk about what? A ver si se acuerdan que le dije. ¿De qué vamos a hablar? ¿De qué vamos a hablar? La Argentina. <laughs> ah, vaya, let's see the answers and then I'm going to send you to work. Check. What are some of George's bad practices in inventory management? Mm -hmm. What are some of George's bad practices? He keeps note uh -huh. of any scrap of paper. Any paper he finds, like, en este ticket va a apuntar. Right? Uh -huh. So imagine. What are Susan's recommendations to solve some of the issues? That he has to put in order the, the things and label the, mm -hmm. the stuff and take notes. How will how should he take notes? How implement implement mm -hmm. and organize inventory management management system yes use a system right use an organized system i and she tells him to use a uh an excel right <laughs> as precious she says to keep control of every single thing okay what is another suggestion you could give george to get to get his inventory organized something that works for you That you think for us, for Mauricio and me, mm -hmm. Jorge need to hire to Susan as a manager. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a better idea, teacher. Better idea, right? So she can do her his job better. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Okay. Well, I know you're tired. I know you want to do something different. I'm going to send you something. And vamos a ver. Just, oh, 
I'm going to start sharing here. Because sometimes you say you can see my screen when I am changing here, but no. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to send a link for you there in the chat of Zoom, right? In the chat of Zoom. So check it. What are you going to do? First thing I need, I need to do is a check that you know, uy, esperen, aquí no sé por qué se pegó ese extra símbolo. Ah, ok, es parte de, dice. Ok, so check if you can enter the link. First yeah. thing I need that you do is identify the adverbs, right? It says, which word in the given sentence is an adverb? Ok. First thing you have to do in this uh, exercise is identify the adverb. Okay, we have to start the game. Sure. Good, now. Yes. George is happy. <laughs> <laughs> on first, the Mac talk break it loudly. <laughs> the often visit his aunt. Get dark soon. It will get dark soon. The ball is the ball is rolling backwards. She happily ate her food. The furious lion slept peacefully. First, bet the eggs vigorously. Great. Early. Continue with the next level. No, we're just going to do number one. Oh. Only the number one level. Only number one, yes. Okay, have to teach. Pick up, pick up, pick up. So you can continue playing later on. Okay. Ready? Ready. Everybody finished? Yes. Oh. yes. <laughs> now, look at it. As I told you today, we are talking about adverbs to identify verbs. If you saw the instructions, it said that look at the sentence, pay attention to the action, and then check what is the word that is describing that action because that word is the other, right? Now, look at the examples we have here. What do adverbs communicate? Adverbs communicate where, when, when why, why, how, how, how often, often, how much, in what degree, why? Because we have adverbs of place, adverbs of time, adverbs of purpose, yes? Mm -hmm. Adverbs of manner, this one, how. How do you do something? That's an adverb of manner. And those are the ones that we're going to be using today when we talk about those adverbs that qualify uh, verbs, the ones that are mostly used to qualify verbs are the adverbs of manner. So the, the adverbs of manner are these ones, the ones that say how. How do you do something, right? How, how do you drive? Well, you say, I would drive carefully. Uh -huh. How do you cook? Oh, I cook well. Well, do you speak? I speak slowly. Then how this 
is the one that describes that the ones that goes like the one that answers how is the one that is describing the action, right? Mm -hmm. And then we have adverbs of frequency that are how often, how often do you uh, go to the movies? I always go to the movies. Remember adverbs of frequency, right? Do you remember always, often, sometimes? Those are adverbs of frequency. The ones mm -hmm. that tell me how often I do something, right? And then I have adverbs of quantity, so how much? And at the end, we are we have the adverbs of degree. And these adverbs of degree mostly qualify adjectives, right? And the, we use those adverbs to exaggerate something. I want to exaggerate something. I use another of degree. Really? Yes. So check the examples. Organize your inventory. How? Efficiently. Efficiently. Record information. How? Accurate. Accurately. Check for possible improvement. How? Consistently. 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 Revise processes. Slowly. Slowly. Communicate with your distributor. Regularly. How often? Uh, how often? Regularly. Regularly. Change your inventory practices. Incrementally. In what degree? Incrementally. 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 So, incrementally. So not the same way every single time. No, if if you uh, you change your inventory a little bit and then more and more and more, so you go doing a bigger change every time. So that will be incrementally. Check many adverbs are created by ly, right? And this ly is added to the adjective. And then you have efficient, and we add lee, we have efficiently. Accurate, we add lee, and then we have accurately. Consistent, we add lee, and then we have consistently. These are adverse of manner, right? Manner. Adverse of manner. And these okay. are the adverbs that answer the question how these are adverbs of manner they tell you how something is done there are some other adverbs that finish in lee but not necessarily are adverbs of manner right or there mm -hmm. are some other words that finish in lee but not necessarily are adverbs for example uh, friendly friendly is an adjective right it finishes in lee but it's not an adverb it is an adjective Friendly. Lately. We're Lately. About time is not an adverb. Yeah. Of time, right? It's an adverb of, of time. Mm -hmm. But check. When we have an adjective and we add lead to that adjective and it becomes an adverb, that is an adverb of manner. Some people call it the adverbs of lee, <laughs> but they are called adverbs of manner. That's the real name they have. Now, we come again. Adverbs are words that describe not only verbs, right? They describe, yes, verbs, they describe the action. They tell you how the action is done, but they also describe adjectives. So they qualify the adjective and they give more emphasis to the adjective. Mm -hmm. And they also qualify another Adverb. So you will never see an adverb describing or qualifying a noun. No. Adjectives qualify nouns. But the adverb qualifies the verb or modifies, as you want to say it. The adverb modifies the verb. That's the action. Modifies the adjective and can also modify another adverb. Yes, and here is the information we saw before. They can communicate 
where something is taking place, right? When, why, how, how often, how much, or to what degree? Yes. So they qualify the actions. When they qualify the actions, we are talking about the adverse modifying verbs, right? They qualify the actions we narrate, the descriptions we record. They also, in that case, they are modifying the adjective, right? And the claims we make. In that case, they are modifying the verb. Okay, that, that is the, the purpose of each of the adverbs is modify. Modify what? Modify something. So they can modify the verb, the adjective, or another ad. So they are versatile, right? Because they can move and they can do whatever. So they can often be moved within a sentence. So they can be in different positions. Uh, you know, if we're talking about an adverb of uh, like this one, an adverb of frequency, they have a, a, a position, right, in a sentence. So if you're going to use an adverb of frequency, you say, she always get to work early, she always. The adverb of frequency is right after the subject, but before the action, before the verb, yeah? She always gets to work late or she always gets to work early. But in that case, it, we have a position for the actor. We cannot move it. But look at these cases. In these cases, we can perfectly move and we have no problem. She picks up her books and ran to class hurriedly. How did she run to class? Hurriedly. Hurriedly. She picked up her books and hurriedly ran to class. No problem. I changed the position of the sentence. Mm -hmm. And it continues being clear. Right? She picked up her books and ran hurriedly to class. In this case, we want the, to emphasize the number three is is not is not common, right? No, it's a very formal expression. We want to we want to make like more emphasis on how she ran. Mm -hmm. Yes, so okay. that's why it is there. And in the in the three cases, they are modifying the action. The action is run. Right. Mm. So if you're talking about an adverb of manner, that's an adverb that is modifying a verb, we can play with the position, right? Mm -hmm. Now, there are some frame sentences in English, and they are mostly formed with this adjective, the one we were said with this adverb, the one that we were saying, right? The efficient becomes efficiently. Loud becomes loudly, right? That's the easiest way to recognize an adverb. So you see an L-Y ending and you say, ah, that's an adverb. Yeah. You see the others and you think, what word is that? I have no idea what it is. But if you see a word finishing in Lee and you say, ah, that's an adverb, right? These are mm -hmm. often called Lee adverbs or adverbs of manner, right? But not all the adverbs are the adverbs. So not all, just the adverbs of manner are the adverbs. To tell if a word not ending in li is an adverb, you can use the following frame. So you see this. Any single word that qualifies the verb, the adjective, or an adverb to complete frame sentences like this must be an adverb. So you see. Uh, this is like the frame we're using, right? The old man told his story. Then the next word I will need to use here should be an adverb. It depends on what I want to say, the word that I'm going to be using. And often is one of the adverbs of frequency that I can move in different positions, right? Then you say, the old man told his story. Mm -hmm. How? How did he say it? When did he say it? How often did he say it? What you add, the advert that you add at the end will make the modification of the way the man told his story, right? So it will modify what? It will modify 
the verb. So it doesn't matter if you use an adverb of frequency, like the example, the man, the old man told his story often. You're using an adverb of, of frequency, modifying the verb. Or you can use an adverb of manner to modify always to modify the verb. The man, the old man told his story how? Deliberately. So important. Deliberately. He wanted to say it. That's why he said it. That's not by accident. He wanted to say it. He said it deliberately. So that is an adverb of manner. But in the second, the old man told his story often. Often. What is often? It's an adverb of frequency. That, mean, that means that the old man came one day, he told you the story. Um, three days later, you were talking again, he told you the same story. And then the following week, and then you saw him again, he told you the same story. So he told his story often. I'm qualifying tall, but by telling the frequency that story was told. Now look at this one, the test, and I know I need an adverb here, right? The test confirms the diagnosis. Hmm. The test, I'm going to use frequency here, and I will say the test usually confirms the diagnosis. Usually, frequency. The test always confirms the diagnosis. In this position, I cannot use another adverb, just an adverb of frequency, okay? Remember the characteristic of the adverb of frequency I told you? They are after the noun, before the verb. And often that moves wherever it wants, right? So you can put it at the end and there is no problem, but you cannot say uh, the old man told his story usually. The old man usually told his story. So in that case, you will have to put usually here, right? But often no problem, it can be at the end. Mm -hmm. Now check the other example, they, and we need an adverb here, all curling down the street. I'm using another type of adverb. What type of adverb is this? Very. It's um frequency. No, that's not frequency. In frequency, we have always, usually, often, sometimes, never, hardly ever, rarely. Um, it's a uh... Quantity. Check, check. You have adverbs that tell you where. You have adverbs of place, adverbs of time, of mm -hmm. purpose, of manner, que son los de how, right? Adverbs of manner, adverbs of frequency, adverbs of quantity. Quantity. Quantity is how much? Degree. An adverse of degree, exactly. And remember what I was telling you about the, the adverse of degree, a characteristic of the adverse of degree is that it helps me exaggerate things. And the adverse of degree modifies what? What is it modifying? It's not modifying the verb here. It's modifying all car, right? Then you say the very old car, the extremely old car, right? Extremely is an adverb of degree too. The adverbs of degree are the ones that tell you in what degree something changes. You may have very, quite, pretty, pretty when it's not working as an adjective, but as an adverb, the pretty old car limped down, yes? So in that case, you can say the very, the quite old limp. car. Huh? Excuse me, teacher, what, what? does limp mean? Hmm? 
What does limp mean? Yo me lo imagino que va así. Que se le queda, que camina. Y no, que ok. <laughs> right. That's putting that into context. Carcachoso. Yes. Very old. <laughs> Remember, it's a very old car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the very old car ooh, limped down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any mm -hmm. question here? Yes, yes. No, no. No question, no, teacher. Sure. Thank you. Okay, check. Again, we say the adverb usually qualifies a verb, an adjective, or another verb, and also a preposition. Pero no vamos a entrar en detalles con preposition porque ese es otro rollo. Okay, yeah. check. When qualifying the verbs, you say he did not run badly. He didn't run badly. Mm? Yes. Be careful that, of course, the comparative of bad is worse. But here we're not talking about comparative. We're talking about the adverb, right? Mm -hmm. Bad, badly. We add lead to bad and then we have badly. But that's not the case of good. Good is irregular. And we say good, well, right? Good, well. Better, bad, bad. The she, grown, she has grown tall. What is tall? Mm. Alto. Mm -hmm. In this case, tall is modifying how she has grown, but it's modifying the verb. His life finished so quickly, quickly. The singers, the singer sings how? Loudly. 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 Loudly qualifying the adverbs. So in this case, you're qualifying the verbs. And then when qualifying the, the adverbs, we say FPV and his team sing enorm enormously to loudly. Lovely. We say loudly is an adverb, right? You see here, mm -hmm. loudly is an adverb. But then I'm going to exaggerate that loudly. And I say enormously. So what I'm going to use to modify the adverb is another adverb. It can be an adverb of degree. Yeah. So mm -hmm. SPV and his team sing very loudly, extremely loudly, terribly loudly. Right. So I can use another adverb to modify this. Yeah. So remember. Adverbs modify verbs, modify adjectives, and modify other adverbs. They run quite fast. They run quite fast. Fast is an irregular adverb. So it behaves like the adjective, fast, fast. We have the adjective fast and the adverb fast. I don't say fastly. The same happens with hard. We had three regular adverbs. Mm, okay. Good, right? Good. The other for good is well. Okay. We have well here. The other for fast is fast. It's the same. There is no change. Fast, fast. It's an irregular. Uh -huh, exactly, these are irregular. And the adverb for hard is hard. Hard, hard. So I say, I work very hard. I can have an adverb modifying another verb, another adverb. And I can also have the adverb modifying the verb that it's telling me how I work. I work hard, but I want to work. I want to modify uh, that hard. And I can say I work very hard, right? But check. Be careful because you will tell me, teacher, pero yo he visto hardly. Yes, but the meaning is different. When you say, she hardly works. 
Sí, sí, pero es que podemos poner el adverb en cualquier parte. Yeah, but no. In that case, when you say she hardly works, that means que a puras penas trabaja. <laughs> no duramente. Ajá, exactly. But if you want to say that the person works, really works, then you say she works hard or she works very hard. Yeah, but work hardly and hardly work. Oh my God, I was confusing. She works, no, because you don't say work hardly. You, you don't okay. say work hardly, you say she works hard. Porque hardly no existe. Right. Thanks for clarifying. No existe as an adverb. Right? So you can say, she hardly works. Right? But she works hard. Works a lot. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. be careful. Be careful. Don't go telling your boss that you hardly work because they say bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> this is the time to say goodbye. So be careful. Right? Be careful. Okay. Now check here. We have also adjectives, uh, qualifying, uh, adverse qualifying adjectives. That lady is quite pretty. Quite is an adjective, it's an adverb. It's mm -hmm. an adverb of degree. Of degree, yeah. That's an adverb of degree. That lady, mm -hmm. that lady is quite pretty. Quite pretty. Yes, this man is more interesting than his brother. Here we have adjective, just using a comparative, right? Your report is always right. My adjective is right, and my adverb is an adverb of frequency. Mm, frequency. Mm, that's frequency. frequency. He is always fast. So check, if you want to use an adverb of frequency, qualifying an adjective, you use the verb to be in that sentence. Mm -hmm. He's always fast. Always is modifying fast, right? You are the most talented student. What is most? It's el más. Is the superlative? Uh -huh, it's the superlative, right? Superlative. So, yeah, that's. Oh uh, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. It's the maximum. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to send you a link. I want you to go do one practice because I know it's, it's like I writing again in the paper. I don't want teaching. But <laughs> so I'm going to send you the link. Let me go to the page where it is. Mm -hmm. This one. Go to the link and do the exercise. You have to choose which is, Where is the link. Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. Okay. You have to choose which is the correct word that you need to complete the sentence. Okay. Vaya, there you go. Chat of, of Zoom. Tell me if you enter. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Now I can see a circus and the monkey. No, no, no. There are no monkeys here. Really? Mm -hmm. You're working with oh, adverbs of There are sentences. Uh -huh, exactly. Adverbs of probably you're entering to the to the same link again. Go to the second. Go to the second. Okay. The one of the monkeys was the first we were playing. Yeah, sorry. You are right. Now, thank you. Welcome. Click on the boss beside the best answer. The girls had to finish the work quickly.
my teachers say that Warren works. Warren works. Hardly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Barbara swing faster. The group found the hotel. Easily. Do you think men drive? The fight is not correct, teacher. Why? <laughs> Do you think men drive more dangerous than women in your country? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven. Megan is very when we was a child. When Tony yeah. spoke. Tony spoke very. We have to do a verse of manner too. What were you doing? I finished the first and Hi. they sent me to the other page, second. Let me see what you did. In 10, 9, when they had their bird, they were very sad. Uh -huh, because you were working at Bells of Manor. Do you I think you the speak first English? One. Well, uh -huh. Uh -huh. the first one was Albert's Manor one. Ah, okay. They send you to a second. No, yes. no, just just ah, one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll do just one. Okay. How are you doing? Yeah, because that page has like oof, 100. They will send you lots. Ah, okay. One and another, 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 another. <laughs> I fall into. Yeah. Endless exercise. Endless. That's for you to practice. <laughs> I want my children to be high. Okay. Any question here? Question? I, I finished my exercise. Nice, nice. No questions. No, but that's easy. No question. Nice. Nice, nice. But check. We will do this together. We have a uh, rewrite the sentences and put the adverbs in, in incorrectly. Well, <laughs> put the adverbs correctly, you know, in the correct position. Okay, let's see. Okay. Let's say in the correct position. Okay, let's see number one. Tell me. She what? speaks slowly. Slowly. Uh, she speaks slowly. Slowly. Slow. Boy. Quien está slowly o yo? <laughs> <laughs> she speaks slowly. Okay, let's see. They sang. Wonderful. Mm, they sang wonderfully. They sang wonderfully. He threaded, thread, threaded hair. Respectfully. 
respect. Respect fully. Mm -hmm. John speaks English. Well. Well. Mm -hmm. Well, nice. Uh -huh. The dog barks. Lovely. That's easy, right? Very, very. Uh huh. What about number six? My sister played the piano awfully. <laughs> okay. Awfully. Uh -huh. Bye. Vamos a ver que nos quepa. No quiere caber. Awful is too big. Don't worry. Ah, la cosa que me salgo. <laughs> I will be out that's, of the page. That's okay. the problem. And let's see this one. She met. She met him secretly. Mm -hmm. How did she meet? How did she meet him? Secretly. Secretly. Uh huh. What about the next one? The children loves happily. Laughed. They laughed, laughed happily. Happily. Yeah. And. She hurt her leg badly. She hurt badly. her leg badly. Aha. She hurt her leg badly. And the last one. They sneak out, out of the house. Of the house. Of the house. Me computer is very smart. Quite the house. Quietly. Quietly. Uh-huh. So, así. Walking out of the house. Very quietly. Okay. Nice. Any questions there? Mm -hmm. No, teacher. Oh, but that piece of cake. That piece of cake. Now. We have the last challenge of the day. Uh, look at the descriptions with the names of the steps to organize an inventory management system. And then we put the, the steps into the correct place that describes each of the, each of the steps, right? Oh yeah, we have time. I'm going to send you to the rooms for you to go help each other. Let me see. Do as much as you can in six, seven minutes, and then I bring you back. Join, join. Victor, Victor. And now. Victor, try to join. Adriana Sofia, try to join. I send you the call to room number five. Sophie, Sophie, se me durmió Sophie. Nice. Sí, se durmió. Sophie, hello. Hello. 
Jose Arnoldo try to join a group. Cuadrito, vamos a tener. Sí. Hello. Let me see if I can do the same of the other time. Uh, okay. Um, yes. And, okay. Uh, Quieren vayan leyendo y van viendo cómo son las respuestas mientras armo el cuadro para irlo llenando. Ok. okay. I think yes. that record yourself is in the number one. Oh, number one, what is? Record yourself. Record your, ah, record your sales. Record your sales. Okay. You want to record what product? Uh, then me. Give me a moment. Um, and sales and customers, she are not confused. The receiving venture with the spear. Price. Mm. Ah, it's a can tag and lay in lay Tag and lay by inventory. See mm. No. Though this to your inventory and it will ensure. Customers and cashiers are not confused are not about confused. the product price. Uh -huh. Tag and number again. Mm -hmm. I think so. So if there is a difference between the order. Regrese Adriana. Okay. Number one. Number one. Okay. Can you share? Yes, I am going to share. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Organize program vendor information with absolute current project holders, receive inventory which is in accuracy, having label inventory, and record your sales. La primer, the first one is record your sales. Ajá. Ahorita lo escribo. Record your sales. Mm. 
Submit. Mm. Uh. I don't know. <laughs> De que le habían le habían dicho que no, que no era así, que tenía que ser el viernes. ¿Verdad, Tito? Ah, yes. ah pues, ah, pues mañana, ahora lo voy a intentar. Vamos a finalizar, Tito. ¿Lunes o viernes? ¿Cómo? ¿Lunes o viernes de finish de, de clase? We finish on Monday. Ok. Pero, este, cuando estábamos recogiendo notas de semana 2, me dijeron, porque yo estaba esperando, ¿se acuerdan que les dije? Estaba en la tarde, recojo notas. Y uh -huh. me dijeron, no, teacher, cada viernes tiene que recoger las notas. Entonces, okay. de un modo el jefe manda. <ríe> ¿Verdad? Si es que yo recojo un viernes y actualizo lunes por si se les ha quedado alguna cosita. ¿Verdad? Pero yo el viernes recojo. Entonces, si logran, ya, ya tengo como cinco que ya terminaron todito hasta el examen final. Así, y el examen final está fácil, ¿verdad? Se pueden ir adelantando a hacer lo de las primeras la primera partes del, del examen. Yo ahorita ya terminé todos lo, los ejercicios, me falta el examen. Excelente, sí. Yo he seguido, todos los días me meto a ver quién ya va adelantando, lo voy recogiendo. Porque así si el viernes tengo algún contratiempo, ya tengo algo en la lista. ¿Verdad? Ok. ¿No? Entonces el lunes sería el tema de la, de la encuesta. El lunes, exacto. Okay. Porque el lunes sí le damos fin. Y nos vamos de vacation. Yeah. Okay. <risa> Dicharia, usted nos va a dar el otro módulo. Dice que aún no sé, todavía no, no, no. Dígale que sí, si no nos salimos todos, Dios. Ajá. <risa> Me van a aburrir. Mayne, ¿cuánto me? A Maika. A Maika. Ah, yo pensé que usted iba a decir, ya me aburrieron, Dicharia. Ajá, yo también. Dirá, <risa> <risa> no, ya, tú, ya, se va a ver, no tan. No, Dicharia. Sí, Cheri, mire que David y yo somos los que hemos los que perseverado. Han... perseverado desde que comenzamos con usted. Yes, it's true. It's uh -huh. Imagine, it, but you will say, ay, no, ya, y la misma teacher, pero no tienen como 100 ahí. No, no, teacher. Hay de usted que nos abandona, teacher. Hay de usted. <risa> no, yo. Pero hay un Dios, teacher. Hay un Dios, teacher. Que la vamos a buscar y vamos a meternos al grupo ese. No, no digas eso que la teacher ya nos ha mandado a otro grupo Ay, no. con que ni me pasa lista a mí a veces Ay, es bien raro ¿eh? a ver por qué andaron para otro lado Dios, en qué momento nos cambiaron dije pero no me met... menos mal no me metí con video y me salí a la misma Lo que pasa es que estaba probando la teacher que no nos quería ver. <risa> no entendimos la indirecta. Exactamente. <risa> ok. Ay, no, a ver si regresan. <risa> a verdad, ya ves. <risa> Ay, no. No, pues si una vez a mí también me mandaba para otro lado la cosa esa. Que se puso loco, loco. loco. Present teacher. Present, vamos. Vamos. Hey, le tomaron captura. Yes, sí. Okay. Okay. Gracias. Gracias. How many here? Ah, verdad. When it is the last time, everybody comes very fast. <laughs> In the middle of the time, it takes a whole minute to come back. Okay. Vaya, let's check quickly before we go to the attendance. Let's see number one. What do you have in number one? Record your sales. Yes. Yeah, bueno, y esto no me lo pongo. Ahí está. Record your sales. Number two. 
Organize product vendor information. Mm -hmm. Yes. Number three. Tag and level inventory. Yes. Number four. Create and submit accurate purchase orders. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that inventory with speed and accuracy, right? If there is a difference between the order, you submit it. <clears throat> the actual, the actual, okay? Inventory delivered. Grab a copy of your purchase order to check and catalog all the new inventory before it is put away in the stock room, right? So do it fast, right? And check that your inventory is accurately. And the last one. Create and submit accurate purchase order. Uh -huh, exactly. Create and submit accurate purchase order. Incorporate a purchase order system to make purchase accurate and avoid confusion. So check that the purchase orders you're doing are correct, right? So you're not provoking any problem. <laughs> Oye, Brenda, no, Brenda. Okay, any questions? No, teacher. Okay, great, great. No, teacher. Nice. Let's go to the attendance then. And it's time to sleep. Let's see. Eh, Adolfo. Present teacher. Adriana Maria. Present teacher. Diana Sofia. Present teacher. Ana. Present teacher. Brenda. Present teacher. Claudia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Luz. Brian. David. Present teacher. Yanis, David, Jose Alberto. Present teacher. Jose Alfredo. Jose Alfredo. Muta. Carla. No, Jose Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, Jose Arnold. Present. No present. Sí. Ni cuenta de Dios que me lo salté, vea. José Arnoldo, hello, hello, hello. De ahí levantó la mano. Ah, vaya. Ah, vaya. Ah, ok, ya lo vi. Ya lo vi. El Carla Lorena. Mauricio. Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Saúl. Saúl, Saúl. Saúl, yo lo vi que medio estaba por ahí. Saúl, hello. Sí, verdad, ahí está. Ok. Zulma. Mm, Present teacher. Yeah. Victor. Present. Fernando. Present and good night for all. Good night, good night. night. Rosie. Present teacher. Excellent. Well, it was a pleasure. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow, Fernando, and on Friday. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Uh, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Who's going to stay with you tonight, teacher? Uh, if you want, you can stay today or tomorrow. What do you prefer? I prefer today. Okay, better. Better, better. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, tell me, do you have any comments, any questions? Uh, I like I like the class because 
all the classes uh, given in in English and that's helped me to understand a little bit more and to practice right to, to, to practice more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's the idea that you get more familiarized with the language mm -hmm. I I practice uh, by singing songs in English yeah, that's nice that's mm -hmm. nice what type of songs do you sing uh, whatever whoever whatever any type uh, any type of song. The only requisite que me gusta. The old ones are better, right? Because they are easier to play and easier to sing. Yes. Okay, of the 90s, 80s, 60s. <laughs> mm -hmm. I actually am practicing a, a song of, of Guns and Roses. Oh. Sweet Child of Mine. Okay. What's the name? Repeat. Sweet Child of Mine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And of course, as you're listening to, to the music in English, you're practicing your ear. And when you yeah. sing them, you reproduce them, and you're practicing speaking. That's perfect. That's yes. The, uh, I, I have never studied English uh, really? formally. Uh huh. Only by myself. Nice, nice, mm -hmm. nice. But imagine you have learned a lot just by by listening to music. Yes, mm -hmm. and I my my objective objective is uh -huh. to work in a call center. Ah yes, and definitely you can get it because you have a very good pronunciation. And you can yes. definitely get it, right? I think that that I only need a little bit more practice. Yes, yes, that's true. And you know that there are many uh, many ways of practicing the language, right? One is by listening to music, by watching movies, by doing mm -hmm. exercises online too. Mm -hmm. depends on what you need to practice at the moment right if you need to practice structure or reading or writing there are many ways of practicing the language and taking advantage of the technology yes uh, i used to translate a book in yes. english to the from english to spanish okay uh -huh. and you can do the opposite too right the, but the opposite is it's, it's harder. Okay, you, so find, it, it, you find it more difficult to translate the opposite? Yes, because uh, uh, I think that I, I can understand, I can write it and, and speak is a little difficult for me because I don't have any practice. Mm -hmm. I don't have anyone to practice. Yeah, that's very necessary. Definitely, that's very necessary. And at work, there is nobody who's trying or who's learning English. Somebody? No. No. No, it's only me. Oh. Only me. Yeah, because uh, that really helps when there is somebody at work that that knows you're learning, and they say, "Hey, come, let's practice, right? Let's talk a little bit." Mm -hmm. I have a friend that. Uh, she when when I remember the last time that I saw her, uh, she she knows English but a little bit, mm -hmm. and now she's working in a call center in San Salvador. Imagine, of course. And of I ask and I ask her how how did she get this that job? Uh huh. And she tells me that. Uh, she started in a little call center here in Santa Ana, mm. and the the his boss, her boss, has a, a patient with her, uh -huh. and then <laughs> then she's she's now she's working in a B, uh, in sites, okay. in sites, and she's she's earning a lot of money. Yeah, of course. Of course. So yeah, that's that's good. You can you can go little by little and 
there are now you know there are many many pages where you can enter and make an extra right make an mm -hmm. extra practice and of course that will help you increase uh, your level give you more confidence when for talking and, and for whatever you need to do right mm -hmm. okay I shared with you a page uh, today, it's Agenda Web. That's a page that you can use if you enter to agendaweb.com.org. Yes. You will see that there are a, there is listening, there is a structure, it has vocabulary, it has reading, listening. So you can practice all the four skills, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's a, a, a good way. One of uh, of the one of the links that I shared with you, I guess, last week. It the same. It has vocabulary, reading, grammar. So you can enter and do a little bit more practice, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. The only practice that I uh, usually do is uh, Duolingo. Uh huh. Of course, that helps. You. That helps. And in um, manual, you have videos, right? So you can also enter, watch the videos that you have in the manual. Do they read? Sometimes there are readings, and in some other cases, they are videos. Mm -hmm. Every two pages in the manual. So you can enter and do that practice too. That will help you a lot. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And continue, right? Continue giving your best. You will see that you will reach it. Yes, I I hope so. Yeah, definitely you will. And okay, if you have any sure. questions, just ask. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. You're welcome. Well, see you tomorrow then. Have a good night. Okay, good night, teacher. Good night. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.